What's going on everyone? It's RGB here again. And in today's video, we're checking out Witty Tool Disk Clone, one of the fastest and most powerful free disk cloning software tools for Windows. With this tool, you can easily upgrade your hard drive or SSD, transfer your entire operating system to a new computer, or even create a complete backup for safety, all in just a few simple steps. It's also packed with some really advanced features like Network Clone over LAN, which lets you clone disks across multiple PCs without physically connecting them. MBR to GPT conversion for full UEFI compatibility. You can change Windows SID, recreate recovery partition, and a lot of other cloning features. Plus, it works with almost every drive type or any brand you use, like HDDs, SSDs, NVMe, and USB drives, or whatever brand and type. So, in this video, I'll guide you on how to use or clone a hard drive using these features. To get started, click on Free Download. It works on Windows 11, 10, up to 7. And now, install the application file. The setup process is the same as usual. Once installed, you will be on the main interface. You can see this tool offers a lot of cloning options. You can clone disk, migrate OS, clone the partition. There's also a backup restore option. That's interesting. Net copy means you can clone machine to machine over the network. And there are additional tools. I'll talk about it later. So in this video, I'll show you how to migrate your operating system to your newer hard drive or SSD. You can clone the system disk drive C to another new disk. So here, I'll connect my new SSD via USB hub. Let me show you. So here it's completely new and unallocated as disk two. Simply created as a new simple volume. Everything goes on default. So now the new volume of my SSD got created. So here, as you can see, it shows up as disk two of my newer SSD. Now I want to clone or migrate the system drive onto this SSD. In my case, the system drive is installed on disk zero, assigned with drive C. Also, make sure to have a sufficient amount of space that matches your disk. Here you can enable sector by sector, which means creating an exact copy of the drive with all the sectors in it. Skip bad sectors with errors. And you can also change the Windows SID. It is a security identifier used to uniquely identify a security principle or security group. So here select the destination disk. My new disk 2 is selected. And here enable UEFI boot. Go to next. Here you can adjust the target disk layout, but in my case, it's sufficient. Here the system drive and EFI drives are assigned with a basic GPT. Now click on Start Clone. The data on the target disk will be erased. Click on Yes. The process will start. It will take a couple of minutes based on the data size you have on the system drive. So here I'll fast forward this process. All right, it's almost going to complete. The system drive is migrated. And there we go, the cloning is completed. And here as you can see, the system disk of drive zero is migrated to the new SSD drive. I also do recommend using the sector to sector option for exact results. And this is an old PC installed with the old one terabyte HDD. And here already attached the new SSD, which we migrated the OS just now. Now let's boot it up. And there we go, it got booted. And in the same way, like with other options, like partition clone, same you can clone one partition to another partition. Just select the source partition and the target partition where you want it to be cloned. You can set sector by sector, or you can skip bad sectors and drives so that you can clone partitions in a very efficient way. There's also a backup. You can create a backup of any existing partition or disk you want as an image file so that you can restore it later. Select the source you want to backup. Create the backup path. And start backup, it's that simple. And one of the highlight features of this tool is net copy. You can clone the disk data between two computers via network without any physical connectors. Select the target machine or the source. Provide the data transfer port to remote. And then connect. That's it. And there are some additional tools. Like you can enter command line prompts, refresh disk. You can create a bootable media. Supports WinPE from the Windows recovery source. Or you can directly use the existing Windows image file to create a bootable media, even via USB with UEFI boot or by legacy. You can add a rescue boot item, recreate recovery partition, and change Windows SID as well. And these are the main cool features here. When it comes to pricing, Witty Tool Disk Clone offers both free and pro versions. 
The free version allows up to 150 gigs of disk cloning and restore, which is perfect for smaller drives or basic OS migration. If you need unlimited cloning and extra features like creating WinPE bootable USBs, you can upgrade to the Pro plan, which costs just $9.9 per month. Overall, it's a really efficient and feature-rich tool for disk upgrades, backups, and full system migrations. I'll leave the download link in the description below. Go check it out and see how it performs for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.